she is there, so close, so inside. She preserves the sort of professional commitment of the documentary photographer at the same time as she has an amazing artistic sensibility. What I care for and treasure about Jane is her uh, social concern, her consistency, her ability to stay with the subject. She's very respectful of the people she, she photographs. When you look at the picture of her, you feel that, you, you see that. I think the Jean-Louis series, the man who had AIDS, his were the first published pictures in the French press of somebody who had AIDS. And she was presenting it as something that you would empathize with. She's not looking at the unseen. It's just that she's really using her eye uh, to see it in a different way, to draw his attention to it. I think that the body of work that I think maybe is her strongest is a project on women in prison. So there's all kinds of photographs in there that are about relationships to people of all color, as well as simple people being behind bars. She's one of the very few authentic documentarian photographers who operates on her own terms completely. I mean, I'm looking at this work, and they ask a lot of questions, and sometimes unpleasant ones, but that's the idea of why you do this work, to elicit questioning. If you move on to something that she did in the early 2000s, like the Haiti series, that is in color. It's very differently conceived. She actually says that one of the things that, uh, that interested her was seeing color in this land of total deprivation. I think there's a huge amount of honesty, and she's somebody who holds very strongly to being absolutely honest. It's a tact, it's an ability to know what a human situation is and to do what's appropriate to it. The Lucy Award comes from this word, loose means light, and she has shed light. Not only does, is it that light needed to be shed, but it's exciting to see where she decided to shed light. So I'm very happy for her that she's been recognized in this way.